morning vlog. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. If you're not new, welcome back to another vlog. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you go and subscribe. I post two times a week, Sunday and Wednesday. And yeah, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. We can all be best friends and just have a little community. So make sure you go and subscribe. I just got out of the shower. It's Monday, June 13th. It's 8.40 in the morning and I did my workout this morning already and just showered and I want to go to Trader Joe's after I get ready because I like to I usually go on Mondays to the grocery store and also I like going in the morning when no one's there it's nice and quiet I can shop browse take as long as I want to so I really like going in the morning I'm just gonna do my skincare first step is my toner I use pharmacy deep sweep also, sorry if you hear noise in the background. I currently have clothes in the washing machine, so. <laughs> Next, I use this vitamin C serum from Bliss. For my moisturizer, I have this Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer from Pharmacy. This packaging is like so cute. I think it's supposed to like imitate like a beehive almost. And it comes with this little spatula that actually is magnetic and sticks to the cap. So that is very convenient. Next is my sunscreen. My favorite sunscreen right now is this. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Malinin Goats, but I could be pronouncing that extremely wrong, but this is the brand. But I've been loving this sunscreen and it's SPF 30. It's very lightweight. It doesn't have like a weird smell to it. And I just like it. It's not greasy. So this has been my go-to sunscreen. Last step is my lip balm. I can't forget lip balm. I have this Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in natural mint flavor. And it's also SPF 25, which is really nice. And I really enjoy this chapstick. So that's my skincare. I'm not going to do makeup today because I usually don't wear makeup on Mondays. I usually call it no makeup. Mondays. So if you want to join me and do no makeup Mondays, I just think it's fun to do stuff like that. So if you want to join me and never wear makeup on Mondays and just like prep our skin for the week, come and join me. Also speaking of skincare, I'm pretty sure Hailey Bieber's skincare line launches on the 15th, which is so exciting. Like I'm so interested to see like what kind of products she has. She probably definitely has like a sunscreen. So that's exciting. But I think I'm going to make a smoothie because I'm like starving and I want to like have something in my system before I go to the store. So I'm about to head out the door to go to Trader Joe's. I just made my smoothie and I put the to-go lid on it so I can take it with me because I don't feel like drinking it right now and like forcing myself to drink it fast and I want to go to the grocery store. This is my outfit. I'm wearing an Aritzia oversized crew neck, some Aritzia biker shorts, and my Adidas Swift runs. Also have my Lululemon little fanny pack. So that's my outfit. Threw my hair up in a ponytail because it's so humid outside and it's gonna get all gross and curly. So just want to have it out of my face. But let's go to Trader Joe's. from Trader Joe's. I didn't get too much this week because we didn't need a lot, just like our basic essentials that we go through every single week. So I'll start over here with vegetables. I got asparagus, broccoli, two things of spinach, the giant container of strawberries, some more blueberries, mandarins, two avocados, two limes. Honestly, we don't even use limes, but I just think that they look cute in the fruit bowls. So I got more limes, um, some bananas, eggs, almond milk, this pasta, which is like my new favorite. It's the vegetable pasta, but I got more of that. This super dark chocolate that Zach loves. The lava cakes that are so freaking good. We are also obsessed with these. There's only two in the box, which I wish there was like four or something because they're so good, but 
got more of those and then for meat this week i got a ribeye steak zach is obsessed with steak two things of ground turkey because we use ground turkey a lot i usually make like turkey burgers or i will mix it in with like the pasta and a little sauce so i got two things of turkey some chicken sausage sweet italian style and some turkey bacon so that is everything i got it's literally like 73 dollars so if you don't go to trader joe's this is your sign too because i never used to i was seriously missing out because everyone was always raving about trader joe's and i was like what is the obsession and now me and zach are both obsessed and it's so much more affordable than like whole foods i have never done a full grocery shopping at whole foods i don't think i ever will it's so expensive but yeah so trader joe's is my new favorite place so i'm gonna put all these groceries away and clean up a bit forgot that I just raved about these sheets in my last vlog and I never show like what they look like on my bed so that is them I'm so obsessed with them they're literally so soft too like oh my gosh I feel like I have the best sleep in these sheets and they're from Target if you didn't watch my last vlog I'm so obsessed with them and Zach actually likes them and I was like what he was like I don't know they just are like so comfy and cozy and he was like they just like remind me of my grandmother's cape house or something so that's good that he likes them but those are the sheets if you want to go grab them i will link them down below they're from target so cute and so perfect for summer i'm so obsessed so another exciting thing that i was talking about in my last vlog i feel like i didn't finish my last vlog because i was talking about going to get the dyson vacuum and i ended up getting it and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you. Here she is in all her glory. I'm so obsessed and I cannot wait to open this box. I haven't opened it because I wanted to wait for this vlog and I wanted to show you. So it's the Dyson V8 Animal. And I know they have one that's like not an animal version, but this was the only one that they had in stock. And I was like, you know what? I want it so bad. So I'm just gonna get this one. And basically my hair is like having an animal since it's all over. The carpet it's all over the couch it's like literally everywhere because my hair sheds like an animal so i figured that i would just get this one so i'm so excited oh my gosh like i have dreamed about this vacuum for so long and i finally have it i'm so excited and yeah, so excited i'm gonna open it this like honestly looks confusing because there's so many parts okay forget it i'm gonna wait for zach i only paid 90 dollars for this thing because if you watched my last vlog, I was saying how Zach gets like store credits at Home Depot for his work because he has like a work card and has to get stuff at Home Depot a lot. So if he has to like return stuff and he doesn't have like the receipt, they give him a store credit and the difference was $90. So I'm so excited, but I just wanted to show the vacuum. I'll probably set it up later. There's like screws involved and I don't have a screwdriver right now. So, I vlog. So, it's now a Tuesday morning. I honestly don't remember the last thing that I vlogged, but I'm pretty sure it was me trying to put together the Dyson and then not doing it. But I just did it. So, I'm gonna try it out for the first time and give you like a little review, tell you if it's worth the price. So excited. And I'm like such an idiot because there was actually like no screws that I needed to use to put it together. That was just for like the charging station part which I don't really, I don't think I'm going to like screw that into the wall. I guess you can do that if you want to, but I just put it together. I'm gonna put this little piece on, vacuum everything, because as you can see, like this carpet literally attracts so much of my hair and just like, there's always like these little fuzzies that are from the rug that are all over the rug and like our other vacuum would not vacuum it up. So I'm so excited to use this for the first time. But yesterday I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day because I went and hung out with my mom. <laughs> I feel like I say that all the time. Like I'm literally 
always with my mom. She's like my best friend if you're new to my channel. Me and her are like peanut butter and jelly. I love her so much. So I hung up with her and we actually booked a trip to South Carolina literally next week. We were both like, oh my God, it's next week because we're leaving on the 22nd to the 27th. So Zach is coming to her best friend lives out there. So we're gonna go and visit her because they haven't seen each other in like three years. And so she always goes like every once in a while to South Carolina. And so we thought we would just make like a fun little trip out of it. So I'm so excited because the last time I went anywhere was California back in September and I'm like itching to go on a plane and like go somewhere going on a plane is so fun So I literally leave next Wednesday to go to South Carolina. So we booked a trip which was super fun and today I'm seeing Christina we're going to the lookout rooftop bar slash restaurant and I'm so interested to see how this works because I think it's mainly like a little appetizer and drinks type of place, but me and Christina literally do not drink a lot. Like she doesn't drink at all, and like I will have a drink every once in a while. Mostly in the summertime I have more drinks, like I have margaritas and stuff, but like I am obviously not big on drinking. I literally can't handle it whatsoever. I've never even been drunk in my life, and I can only have one drink. Like I have one margarita and I'm all set. So there's like a drink minimum, I'm pretty sure and I don't really know what that means like I don't know if we need to get alcoholic drinks because I'm pretty sure you have to be 21 to go there anyways but like I don't know what we're gonna do because I don't want to get a drink and she doesn't drink at all so I don't they can't like force us to have a drink or something so I'm very interested to see how it's gonna go but it's like so cool it's like at the top of a hotel and it's like so pretty the view is so pretty so we're gonna have like a little girls date and it's actually our friendship anniversary I met her a year ago on June 11th, which is so crazy. It does not feel like it already has been a year. Yeah, I remember like vlogging too when I met her and I was like, I'm going to meet Christina. And then when I left, I was like, oh my God, she is so sweet. She's like my new best friend and like we have so much in common. I'm like so excited for our little girls date. So that's what's up for today. But I'm gonna try out the vacuum and I will let you know how it is. literally don't think I've seen our rug this clean other than since when we first got it. Oh my gosh, this thing sucks up so much stuff. And I'm honestly disgusted by looking at this because half of this is just from the freaking rug. That is so disgusting. Like our other vacuum literally did not suck up anything. And this is like my new favorite thing in the whole entire world. It's so quick and it's so easy. And so far, I think it does a pretty good job of vacuuming everything up like oh my gosh but i think i'm going to need to try like all the other attachments and stuff to give you like a full review because it does come with a lot like this thing this little hose this this attachment like there's one two three four other attachments so but so far this is like oh my gosh i am so happy with this and you have no idea like how happy this vacuum is making me which sounds so silly, but our other vacuum was just so bad. And I'm actually gonna go put it in the trash room because I'm sick of looking at it and it's just like such a hassle. So, so far, obsessed with the vacuum. I'm actually gonna make a TikTok about it and I'm gonna be like vacuuming, or no, cleaning every chance I get just to use my new Dyson vacuum. So, <laughs> um, follow me on TikTok if you want to keep up with me on there. I'm posting so much on TikTok lately. It's like my new favorite app, I think. Made myself a piece of avocado toast because I'm like starving, but I wanted to show you the toppings that I usually put on it. I have this true lime, lime, garlic, and cilantro seasoning. This is so good and I always put it on my avocado toast. Of course, everything bagel seasoning and then honey. Oh my gosh, if you don't put honey on your avocado toast, you need to start doing it because it's so good and makes it 10 times better. So I'm going to put on all of these toppings and have myself a piece of toast because I'm starving. I'm gonna make a poll right now on my Instagram 
and see how many people like to put honey on their avocado toast because it's so good and also i think polls are so much fun so if you don't follow my food account quick plug go follow me <laughs> so i'm gonna get ready to leave soon i did some makeup put more blush than i need on because blush is my favorite and i love it i'm obsessed with the hollywood flawless filter right now i wear it every single day now when i do my makeup it looks so good if you didn't watch my last vlog i was like raving about it and was like why don't i use this more because i literally bought it didn't use it for the longest time and now i'm obsessed with it it just makes my skin so glowy and pretty but i'll show you my outfit i'm literally obsessed with this dress it's so beautiful and cute and i feel like a literal princess it's from revolve i will link it down below and i'm just using this beige princess poly bag and then these little shoes that have like clear straps across and then they're like braided at the heel i think they're from dsw to be honest i honestly don't really know but i feel like the style is like pretty popular and you can find these like anywhere but that is my outfit i also just threw up my hair in a little claw clip that is from lovers and friends i think so it's super cute but i like can't get over this dress oh my gosh and i love the little bead detailing right here it's so cute so i'm gonna leave soon and i'm so excited Christina had such fun time. It was so hot out. It was literally 84 degrees. I did not know it was going to be that hot out. And when we first sat down, we sat down at like they have like these little couch things. And the one we were at first didn't have an umbrella. And we literally asked to move just to be under the umbrella because it was so hot and we were sweating. But it was so fun. We ended up getting mocktails. They had mocktails, which was good. It was really fun. The food was really yummy. We got like these um, sliders some fries and then Christina got these jalapeno popper things which I tried one and I did not like it at all it was like spicy and I don't know I'm just not a big pepper person but it was really fun and I'm back home I'm gonna do some skincare I just washed my face and also poked my forehead a little bit which I know I shouldn't do but I just get these like annoying blackheads on my forehead and I just can't stand looking at them so I like to pop my face sometimes, but I just washed my face with my Dr. Bronner's peppermint. I still don't know the name of this and I like mention it so many times. Hemp Peppermint Pure Castor Soap is the name of this. So that's what I use at nighttime. And then I'm going to use some serums. This one is Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy. I recently just started using this and I actually really like it. So I use this after i wash my face and then the next serum that i'm going to use is this vitamin a retinol serum which i showed it in my last vlog it's by pharmacy and i think it launches today actually yeah it's the 14th so i don't know i just am really big on preventing aging skin and like wrinkles and stuff so i'm really excited about this and i make sure to put it on my neck on my eyes because we don't want wrinkles then for my moisturizer i'm going to use this keels ultra facial cream they also sent me this and i showed this in my last vlog and i really like it because i usually use my pons dry skin cream but i really like the feel of this one and it's like not too thick or greasy especially summer nights like this where it's hot and humid it like doesn't feel like it's weighing my skin down if that makes sense and it just feels like very light and refreshing so i've been using this at night time and then for my eye serum i use this black tea serum from fresh and then i just remembered i have this lash serum from Grande Lash and I haven't used it yet and I've had it for like a month now 
so I'm gonna use it and I think you just put it on like your lash line I mean I don't know where else you would put it so I'm gonna put it on my lash line and I'm gonna try and remember to use it every night because stuff like this I feel like I just always forget to use and I've heard like so many good things about this too so we'll see